Hi, I'm Joe from Garmin. Today we're going to talk about intelligence voice commands for the GTN series navigators. Intelligence is uh, a special software load that enables you to use your voice to carry out certain commands on the GTN navigator. Okay, to get intelligence in your cockpit, you're going to need three things. First, a GMA 350 or remote 30, a GMA 35 audio panel. Second, you'll need to update the system software on the GTN. And third, you'll need to install a push to command button on the yoke. Your Garmin dealer can help you with all three of those things. So now we're going to use this in a, in a real life scenario. Let's say that we're flying an approach into Raleigh Durham. We've got that on the simulator here. And we're going to ask intelligence to help us get some information that we want to know quickly and accurately. So first we want to know what the uh, frequencies are for uh, ATIS. We want to listen to ATIS. So tune destination ATIS. And up here, RDU ATIS came in. We press one button, and it's now active. Now the next frequency you probably want to talk to is tower. Tune destination tower. There are two tower frequencies at Raleigh. We'll choose 119.3 and activate that. We're now talking to tower. So you land the aircraft, roll off onto the uh, taxiway, and you probably want to talk to ground. Tune destination ground. I want to talk to 121.9. Tap that, and we're ready to go. Intelligence can also, in addition to just tuning frequencies, can also give you useful information. So, for example, sometimes tower or uh, approach will ask you, say your destination or say your position from the airport. So I'll ask intelligence to help me with that. Say bearing and distance to destination. 4.5 nautical miles to the southwest of KRDU. Now, in addition to that, we can also use intelligence to help us navigate through the menus. So, for example, I'm going to use the GTN here now to help us go to some pages that I want to see specific information on. So first I want to see traffic. Show traffic page. And traffic comes up with ADSB in and uh, Garmin uh, relative uh, motion vectors. Show terrain page. And there our terrain comes up with your uh, geo or, uh, relative terrain shading on your obstacles and mountains. We also have uh, wire aware as well. Show chart. And now your approach plates comes up. And notice this is a geo-referenced approach plate, so you know exactly where you are on the approach very quickly. Intelligence for the GTN can help make operating the system easier, faster, and more accurate. For more information, contact your Garmin dealer or go to Garmin.com. Thanks for watching.